There's one. Feel like a good one? Yeah, it feels all right. I hope it's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> nice fish. Yeah. Boy, this is so much fun coming out here after dark and catching burbot eel pout because this really is the working person's fish. Oh, exactly. You don't have to get out here early. You can wait until you've done dinner and everybody else in the house could go to bed and you still have time to come out here and catch these super wicked fish. Now, what are you doing here, Jason, uh, to get these big eel pout to bite? I like to use a big glow spoon. This happens to be a big nasty. It's an ounce and an eighth size with the rattle. And then what I do, you can see we've got them here. I'll take a nice, I would call it a medium sized golden shiner, break it in half. And you know, I've got the head on one hook, just like that. And I'll, I'll usually hook the tail on one of the other trebles. And then I'm just pounding the bottom. So you drop that down, you glow it up and it's just, 18 inch, two foot lift and drop, lift and drop. And sometimes you'll see them come in on your sonar. Sometimes you don't, you just happen to lift up and right. they're there. So when you come out to a lake, if you're gonna tell people where the right spot is to find eel pout, what would you tell? Well, for this time of year, and we're, we're now in mid-February, early March, what I look for is some of those spawning areas. And I've had the best luck on some shallow mid-lake humps. I'm looking five to 12 feet humps or even five to 12 feet flats along shorelines. Rock, gravel is what I really, really key on. And I'll drill holes from the top of that out into the basin and then just work those holes. And some nights you might find them in 36 feet. Some night they're up on top. And it just really depends. You just have to keep moving. Watch your screen too. I mean, we were saying sometimes they bite right on the bottom. You don't see them, but right. sometimes they'll chase it up. And uh, when you see a mark on there, boy, most of the time that you yeah, see the eating. mark, you're going to get them to bite. 